Well, hey there team, welcome back to the channel and welcome to Loop Mansa. So this has just come out, I believe, and it's a Chinese cyberpunk sort of thing. So that's that's a kind of cool twist. I like this art. And um, well, given by the name and the description, it sounds like maybe there's a death loop sort of loop concept going on there, which is great because I, I, I enjoy Deathloop and I love Moon Crash and, and generally speaking, love roguelikes and roguelites. So that's enough for me to check it out. Let's go. Story mode, easy mode, normal mode. I'm normal. Oh, what's going on with that dude's haircut? Oh, my goodness gracious. Okay. This might take a second to load in. It, uh, I mean, we'll see how it runs, but it, it had a hell of a time even just booting. So there could be issues with the engine and its optimization. I'm not sure. I guess we'll find out. Um, the world was in desperate need of a sanctuary after the war ended. Immigrants, refugees, and corporations all have their eyes set upon Dragon City. Long Z Town was rebuilt as a haven to vent social conflicts and eliminate possibilities of future warfare. Okay. 20 years later, Dragon City became one of the most advanced city in the world. That's right. There's going to be translational issues. I'm not that worried. Um, but the residents of Longzi Town still reveled in this closed and lawless ghetto, ignorant of the fact that they were trapped in this hellhole. Okay, sure. Is that is Long Z Town part of Dragon City? Uh, I'm not sure. But it sounds like it's maybe it's a suburb in Dragon City. After all, they were the ones who tilled the ruins of war, gave the homeless refuge, uh, refugees a roof over their heads, and built the world's largest, most complex and packed ghetto in the world. Okay, okay. The Changzhou Detective office field operations unit includes detectives like Ziang Zizu. I'm sorry if I get these pronunciations wrong. It's not exactly my native tongue. As well as an agents responsible, as well as agents responsible for contacting informants or protecting the crime scenes. Okay, I, I'm curious. You've got me curious, game. Jeez, look at this dude. Bloody Pitbull. Long Z Town. 2046. Okay. I like this dude's car. It's a bit x -commy. Like, got a sort of a chunky sci-fi to it. I have been busting my ass. Z Shu, is that what you said? Hey, Ray, what's got you in such a rush? I brought you a weapon. Well, didn't you already give it to me in the office? I felt that might not be enough. Think about it. You sent Wei Long to jail five years ago. Yep. But now, he ain't a punk no more. The guy's the oh. head of Long Shi Gang. He hated your guts for sure. Today, his gang is hosting the Parade of Panate. His men gonna jam the street. They're gonna jam it up. Cooperate with your investigation? Not a chance. It's gonna be ugly. Thanks, man. I appreciate the concern. Yeah. Never mind. Long Shi Town is a party today. The streets are full of food stalls. I'm just here for the feast. <laughs> here, this is for you. Nice. Be careful, man. Yeah, okay. The chump and his men make a fuss. Don't hesitate. Just do what you have to do. You know I can handle myself. Okay. You're right. Still, be careful. I'll see you later. All later. right, so this is campy as anything, but I don't, I don't Here, mind. There's a stew pork <laughs> restaurant in town that's out of this world. It's giving me some Shenmue flashbacks with the, the jilted voice acting. Right, someone thumbsticks, but we'll see. All right, who's this chick? Hello. Hi there, Zhang Tishu. I'm Mona. Excuse me. Senior mission intel agent on this case. Hello, Mona. I'll provide you with the intel in this operation. Thank you. Greetings, Wonderful. Mona. Pleased to meet you. Liu Xin is my supervisor. You saw many well-known cases with her. I'm honored to be part of your team. Oh, the honor is mine. You're being too polite. There, yeah, exactly. Wei Long is currently at the bridge and enjoying the pageant with his underlings. Keep going and cross the barricade. You'll see him once you get down there. Given your skills, this shouldn't be a problem. Shouldn't have, I've got eyeballs, so they're pretty good skills. The parade of Penate. 
The city god of Longxi Town embarks on his annual tour on the fifth day of the sixth month of the lunar calendar. How specific. People also call it the Parade of Panate. To ensure a year of fortune free of calamities, temple crews will organize a rich and colorful parade along the canal. That's pretty the cool. The Longxi gang grew pretty quickly in the past few years. They donated vast sums for three years running. This fest cost them $50 million alone. That seems Thank like a lot. That bit of intel is actually quite useful. <laughs> I will keep an eye out on things and update you as we go along. Thank you. Be safe. I'll see you later. You too. Be careful. Okay. I got a sword. Oh, yeah. Destroy items and defeat enemies to earn E coins. Yeah. I can't seem to aim up or down or anything. What's this? Oh, I can shoot lightning. Okay, that's, that seems reasonable. And I've got like a grenade as well. Oh, and I've got a, a sort of back, back step. Sounds like I blew up some birds. Hold left bumper while sprinting. While moving to sprint, sorry. Right. Aha. Uh -huh. I think I was supposed to go up there, but bugger it. I can wall jump. Let's go. All right. This is kind of cool. Logistics terminal scattered throughout the map will auto activate when in range. Press and hold to heal some HP. When you clear a level, all logistics terminal will lose some HP healing capacity. Okay. Yeah. Spend cores to reset the healing capacity. To open the map and teleport to another. Okay. So it's a quick travel as well. I can repair, I can heal. Okay, that's interesting. The fact that it resets infers that we do multiple runs, I think. All right. Elders of Longshi Town uh, will organize parade. Yep, yep, yep. Cool. Parade of Pennant. We're going to skip over this because at the moment it's just a showcase, but it seems that they've taken a fair bit of effort to do a bit of, you know, bloody world building. What is this? What are you trying to tell me here? Oh, I can sneak through here. Ah, okay, cool. Use supplies to replenish your ammo and tactical gears. Supply crates can only be used once. All right, cool. Tamed ammo, obtained grenade. Okay, you can drop through the platform. That's pretty cool beans. And then you can... You can jump onto this platform. Lies. Oh, okay, no, you just got to nail the jump. You just got to nail the jump. Okay, that's fine. That's fine. Okay. It's pretty cool so far. I like these environments. I, I, I'm quite fond of these sort of side scrolly sort of games. Look at that! Oh my god, look at this bloke. Jesus. Hello. Oh well, if it isn't a great detective Xiong Zishu. That's me, baby. Why owe this pleasant surprise? I'm sure you didn't come all this way just to see our little holiday celebration. Oh, look at all the little masks. His name is Lizbeth. Hot. She disappeared two days ago. <laughs> it's too bad I never got to see her with my own eyes. Did any of you see her? Never saw her, boss. Well, you there you go. Out? Now, if there's nothing else, piss off. Her co workers say that you're the last person she interviewed. I said you can piss off. You may have heard we're investigating a murder involving several of your people. If you don't cooperate, I can move this up the chain. Then come back with a search warrant and take you down. That we seems do that oh, way. Okay. I'm afraid your extravagant parade of Penate might hit a few snags. God, that looks cool, doesn't Screw it? Screw you! You hey. think you can threaten me on my own turf? He's trying to negotiate. I think I forgot about our grudge from five years ago. Who do you think you are? <laughs> You're just a petty detective. Bugger it. I like I like the here. camp voice Put acting in that. Whoever kills him gets a 500k reward. Oh, jeez, this escalated. And aren't I a policeman? <laughs> Fuck you, I'll just machine gun you. I got Though I do have limited ammo. Oh shit, that's a grenade. Uh, how much health do I have left? Okay, cool. Cool, cool, cool. Alright, off we bloody go. What the fuck? Oh. Excuse me. Fuck, you can have a grenade while I'm at it. Have another one. <laughs> oh, dude! Jeez, he's going home in a bloody shopping bag. Alright, can reload. Alright. Check. 
Grunts of Long Shi Gang. Yep, that's cool. It'll tell me about those blokes. Very good. Again, we'll just zip through that. Press up, right trigger to use skill chips. Oh, yeah, okay. Yeah, 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 yeah. I got an E coin. Hang on, what's going on there? Grab. Oh, I've got a bloody zip line as well. Oh, my goodness. I've got everything. All right, terminal activated. Heal. Oh, you, you hold it down to heal. It's got like, it's got like heal ammo. Ah, okay. Talk. Hello? Why do you know me? Yeah. I'm a cyborg. Bunk. The name's Falk, and I'm a black market dealer. Oh, we'll just go Dave out and say it, eh? You know Dave? How? I have a store at the North Vital Market of Dragon City. Dave pays me occasional visits to buy a few weapon chips or parts you can't get from the open market. Well, North Wakyang is the place for chips, circuitry, and other electronic parts. Techie like him who just arrived at Dragon City must feel as though he's hit a gold mine. Mm. Why are you here? I do business, and business is always better at troubled places. Fair you enough. This robot dude's chips. cool. Do you want to check out my wares? They'll yeah. help you. Fine. Let me take a look. But first things first. I gotta tell you that most gangsters buy things from me as well. You're quite a businessman, I guess. I suppose you'll sweep the battlegrounds afterwards for weapons and loot. Yep. So I can buy these bits and bobs, which I don't have any money, so cool. E-coins, very good. The best kind of coins. All right. Oh shit, what's this? What is that? Salted fish. Perm permission unlock terminal, put machines, put machines are scattered throughout the map. Invest enough e-coins in to unlock a specific weapon. Okay, so this is a bit like uh, dead cells or, or, well, you know, investing a, a meta currency into upgrades, roguelite stuff, right? Uh, investments in unlocking a permanent will not disappear when you die. When you meet a put machine with an unlocked weapon, you can get that weapon for free. Yeah, okay. Um, now I wonder if they, if this sort of randomly spawns throughout the world, you know? I don't think I have any coins at all, right? And yet, whatever these are. Oh, no, no, I've got 113. There we go. Hold to confirm. Yeah, bugger it. It's an investment. Investment in fish, baby. Sulfur building. All right, let's go. I wonder if these levels are procedural. Get down, grenade! Man down, bro. We just lost the dude. Oh yes! Oh, it's got a Wilhelm scream. This is actually a great game. I'm excited. Jesus Christ. They got one of us. If I only knew. <laughs> this is so daggy, I love it. Buff bots optimize bionic performance. Oh here we go. Stamina, melee attack damage. Give me more of that. Alright, so these are our upgrades throughout the level. Exploding barrels burn. Yeah, looks like an assault rifle. Transfer. Do, have I earned some more money? I have. Okay. Interesting way of doing it. Enemies. Flashing visual cues and sound effects. That give them iron body or invincibility buffs. Okay, so I guess I just got to get used to all that. Um, I don't think we want to drop back down there. God damn it, how do I... Oh, did I just die over 10 minutes later? Oh, I don't know what happened I'll catch you and break your damn leg. <laughs> okay. And there's a cat and I've been shot. Oh, okay. This is okay. That escalated. <laughs> ah, yeah, all right. Yeah. It's, it's odd. It's definitely odd. I like it. Oh, now. 
are we going to be stuck in a bloody load screen forever? Because game, come on. If you're going to put me through loops, it's got to be punchy, right? Well, I guess we'll leave it up there to see. You know, like, I'm not going to edit stuff like this out. But you need to, I think it's important if you think about buying something like this to know what sort of experience you're in for. Because, like, uh, was it one of the Dark Souls or the Bloodborns or something like Bloodborne or something that had like a bug in one of the early builds where you would hitch in a load screen for like a minute after a death? And it was it was significant because you'd be you, you die fairly often, especially in the certain areas. Yeah, I can't remember what game it was specifically, but that's you know, that's a good example. If you if you're gonna have something that has a sort of low, I don't know what you want to call it, retry rate. A high death rate, time, it's not time to death because that seems, means something else. It's more like a, a Call of Duty shooting people with bullets. But if the player character is going to be dying and rinsing and repeating again, you've got to get your load screens sort of right. And this, that's a little much. Though, what's going on here? Have we loaded something totally different altogether? Well, if, okay, if it's loading new cutscenes and shit, okay. Jeez, what's going on here? Oh, okay. Uh, what? <laughs> oh, we're having nightmares? Onlay uh, River Complex. All right, maybe, okay, maybe there's an exception because it was setting this up. Tutorial, death and loops. Every time he dies, Zhang Zi Shu will wake up at this apartment and everything will reset. Okay? The detective, however, will retain his memories. Make use of the knowledge and intel you gather and make decisions in the new loop. Uh, make better decisions. Choices matter and would affect the story progress and the fate of the key character. Same new loop. Yep. Okay, cool. Got it. My slight concern is today? the combat's a bit... There's a case that eh? needs your expertise. It's not super tight. What's this? I've got a fucking cat, do I? Yuck. Max ammo reserve increase by touching me cat. Okay. All right. Cool. Now, what's going on here? Evidence board. He's still investigating the accident that killed his daughter. Okay, we've got a bit of a watchdog thing going on. As you progress through the story, more intel and info will be unlocked at the evidence board. View the relationships between key characters. Yeah, yeah, okay, cool. Got it. Roger. Check. Unknown. I know nothing. Very good. That seems as good a place as any to start. I like this apartment. The, the the world building is really cool, you know. Hi, it's me. Hello, this Sue Wenju. Isn't anything important? I saw the mail you sent me. Yeah. I don't want to undergo the spinal neurosurgery you mentioned. Oh, okay. I know you want the best for me, and I know this new tech looks pretty effective. But, but please, just let me think about it for a while. Hey, okay, it's your spine. Fucking do what you got to do. Dude, what is this home gym? Let's go. This guy, he's got it bloody sorted out. Tenacity. Spin course to unlock or improve Xiang Zishu's various abilities. Roger. Do I have any points? I have none. All right. I can change my clothes. Here we go. This is the, this is the important part. Oh, look at that. This game is obviously enjoying some cyberpunk stuff bottoms oh yeah very edgy i like it all right let's go what's this just can read my diary it's all right you can pause it and go back to it if you want all right now what i'm gonna get in my car and i'm gonna start loop one this is good i love these loopy sort of games So it's got jank to it, for sure. For sure. And, you know, the voice acting and writing is very just schlocky and wooden. But I, I'll take it. I'll take it. Too many of the games we've covered are just pushing bullshit agendas uh, before actually being an entertaining story. And this is at least entertaining, right? It's a bit daggy, a bit campy, but it's compelling. 
Look at this. Look at this place. Negotiation area. Oh, this is the detective office. Oh, look, it's a Roomba. Look at him. Look at him going. Holy dooly. Zashu, you've finally come. That's me. It's been a while. How have you been? Well. Zashu, you're finally here. Sorry to call you in on a Sunday. Hey, after all this time away, you're treating me like a stranger now. Yeah, what's that you're about? In a much better mood than I expected. Yeah. I can't stay depressed forever. That's true. Anyway. Well, what case is depends. Too ask to fucking Twitter. Another reporter they probably think you can. Her vehicle was hacked. She's a reporter with the Dragon City Daily and the mayor's daughter. The mayor is a good friend and college classmate of the director. This reporter was like a daughter to him. Right. This reporter. What's her name again? Lisbeth. Yeah, Lisbeth. Can't be. Oh, he no, remembers the loop. I don't know her. But what I'm about to say might surprise you. Oh, here we go. Tell me about it. Wei Long is the last person she interviewed. You piqued my curiosity, and now you have my attention. Oh, okay. This Miss is a Candy. New case. Who gave you this intel? I was startled to wake this morning by a dream. I remember it vividly. I went to Long Shi Town to look for Wei Long and investigate this case. And then I got you shot. Mean you dreamt of looking for Wei Long in Long Shi Town? <laughs> Quit messing around and tell me who gave you the intel. I'm not joking. I'm confused too. I'll just have to talk to Wei Long in Long Shi Town. Yeah. <sighs> Go on, keep messing with me. Parade of Panade is being held in Long Shi Town today. The event is sponsored by the Long Shi Gang. Yeah, One I know. More thing. As you already know, Wei Long is the last person that Lisbeth interviewed. That's true. There's bad blood between you from five years ago. That's true. And now he's the head of the Long Shi Gang. There's no way he will cooperate willingly. Yep. Head over to Dave Ray's in a bit to get a weapon. Understood. I'll leave soon. I Dave Ray will give me a sword. The terminal outside the office for you. Remember to give it a read. Go upstairs and check in with the director before you leave. Great. Okay. Use intel knowledge you've learnt to choose your next stage. Ah. That's cool. That's cool. Parade of Panati. Okay. Oh, jeez. Okay. What are these bloody robot dudes? All right. Dave Ray. Is this a, a dead end? It is. Okay. Yep. Director's office. God, it's pretty, isn't it? Look at this dude. Zero fucks given. Thank you for coming back for this case. No Hi, worries, director. mate. It's been a while. You lost weight. I take it Liu Xin already filled you in on the case brief? Didn't do. Yes. I'm going to start investigating soon. Correct. To be honest, this case puzzles me. Many reporters have gone missing, and not a single one of them has been found. I watched that girl grow up. Please, do everything you can to help. Oh, no Don't worries. Worry. I'll do everything I can to bring Lisbeth back. I'm on it. I'm on it, boss. Alright. Cool. Now what? To be honest, this case puzzles me. I don't worry. All right. Yep. Cool. Why is the Apple River community on my screen? Is that UI element broken? It seems a bit weird. Can I like fast travel or something? I gotta go see what's his face. Oh, okay. Ooh, fire axe. Machete. Hey, Zashu, you're finally back. Yeah, I am. I've heard you're going to Long Shi Town to take out the most ruthless gang there. That's true. Got something good for you. A pistol. That's going to fix Think everything. That a welcome gift. Let's see what you can do. Thanks, mate. Give me that. Zashi, my man. I missed you. Dave Ray, good to see you. You find me new food during my absence? I'm glad you asked. I've been bugging Lee <laughs> Machine since you've been gone. She says I'm making her gain weight from all the food. Good. The quality of my diet has taken a significant hit. So, did you take Lizbeth's case? Yeah. Yep. And now, I need your weapon support. No problem. I've got your firepower covered. Just yeah. let me know if you're looking for any weapons or upgrades. 
Sure. There's bad blood between me and Wei Long, so he is not likely. I prepared some weapons for you. Right. What's going on here? Dave Ray is a skilled machinist. Right. I can upgrade glass bottle. Like what? Give me machete, fire axe. Now see, is that grey because it's a lower thing? Because I want it. I kind of want it. Instead of the jab. Yeah, look at this. Fuck yeah, fire axe. Cricket. Got it. Map. Oi, here we go. So I can go to all these different interesting places. This is cool. Dragon City Apartments. Long Z Town. Well, go with what you know. Off we go. This is cool. I'm really liking this. Drive me a little car. A lot of love has gone into the sort of the world building and the environments. Bit, little bit worried about the sort of the load times and all that, but it does sort of have us bouncing around doing cutscenes and dialogue. So it's it's a little bit tough to gauge. Though once it sort of lets us loose and we start running loops at a at a clip, I feel like if it still persists having longer load of time loading times, that could be a bit of a problem. But I guess uh I guess we'll see. Funk sells different weapons in various. Yep, yep, yep. We covered that. Um, World was in desperate need of a sanctuary after the war ended. Wait, hang on. Didn't we read this? Yeah, I think so. Oh, my goodness. Anytime you want to load for me, game, that'd be great. Yeah, this is good. It's always interesting to see these, like, a few Chinese games kind of sneaking out. Um uh, the one that comes to mind is uh, bloody DSP. That came out of nowhere with like no fanfare. I don't think that company had any idea because I was talking to them lining up a review key. And I'm honestly, I must have been one of the first people speaking to them because they were really like um, oblivious, like super small scale. Like, yep, yep. Very chatty and very, you know, very nice and helpful. And then it hit the street and oh my God, that game exploded bloated um what's the other one there was there was another sort of chinese game that i was playing anyway it's cool it's cool just seeing these sort of these little studios sneak out with uh with very little marketing fanfare because they're not really part of the the mainstream in group you know all the all the dickhead silicon valley losers on twitter that never had a hard day in their life and they, they're terminally online, I've heard the term before, and I love that one because that's exactly it. You look at their accounts and they've got like 10,000 tweets or 100,000 tweets in their lifetime. It's just very strange. That's the game you have to play if you want to deal with the game industry. So it is interesting seeing this sort of emerging market, this, uh, this what I would call not traditional Chinese games being made, but more, more like that double A space. Um, Greetings, Zhang Tissu. I'm Mona, the senior mission inter- Greetings, Mona. Wei Long is currently at the bridge and follow the- I know you- Tell right. me everything you have. Ever since Hang on, Wei we've Long had this chat before. We've had this chat before. Okay, so we're going to go in because I want to get an idea of is the map- Oh, Jesus. Jesus. Wait, did I just throw a bottle at him? Oh, I've got a bottle this time. <laughs> I'm certainly not as tooled up as I was before. Now, this is looking familiar. Oh, hang on. Short axe. Okay. All right, so these are very specific. Okay, I, I'm going to go ahead and say I think it's procedural. Am I supposed to jump across there in one go? Oh, you know what, actually, there's the sneaky hole there. 
Hmm, maybe it's not. Fuck. Yeah, I can, now I can't tell if it's just a set level for now, or if this is the sort of, yeah, it's the same level. Or if this is a sort of taste of things to come. Oh, jeez. We're straight into it. What the hell are you all looking at? Put the word out. Whoever kills him gets a 500k reward. Yep, I remember. Oh, they throw back. This fucking hurts. That's right. F that mofo. F this shit. Get that mofo. <laughs> okay. Cool. So the damage that I take is significant. Oh, hang on. Maybe it's opening up now because this is definitely different, right? So if I buy these, I can equip them now. As opposed to... So does buying these put them in the rotation to be bought at the shops, potentially? Hmm. Interesting. Fucking idiot. Ah, they got one of us. Overkill. Every melee weapon has a special attack known as overkill. Hit enemies and reach a required combo limit without being injured to cast overkill. Okay. Get a visual cue, will I? Oh, that's kind of cool, isn't it? <laughs> that William Willem scream, Will, Wilhelm scream is so good. You fucking worm! Take care of my fuck off! We just lost the dude. Help it, man! Alright, I I've changed my mind. The combat the combat feels good, man. What's this? Oh, it's the upgrade thing. Melee attack. Let's go. Alright. Now, can I end a run early? Oh, hang on. Settings, archive, restart. Re well, no, I don't know about restart. Quit game. I wonder if this desktops me or whatever. Um, no, it goes back to here. Continuation of previous unfinished loop. That's the test that we wanted. Okay, so this is cool. This is really cool. Um, it's it's definitely got some jank. It definitely sits in that sort of double A space, which I've been yearning for uh, recently. You know, uh, not everything has to try and be a triple A blockbuster mainstream shooter. I do like those companies that aren't exactly indie, but they've got a little bit more, a little bit more weight, a little bit more money to put in and, and turn out like a schlocky shooter or something like that, um, which. Was, like, I don't want to say we're com it's coming back necessarily, but I have seen a few more of those games. This is a bit different because it's obviously coming out of the sort of Chinese market, which is which is unusual, but we're seeing more of that as well. Um, and it's like having a, a totally fresh set of eyes coming into the space, right? So again, like I said, it's not it's not some sort of 10 cent monetization or an MMO or anything like that that you usually see out of that Asian sector. This is more, dare I say, Western game design. Not, not strictly, but what we've come to expect is mainstream Western game design. Um, but seeing more of these, these uh, sm I don't want to say smaller Chinese companies, but definitely, I said before, not with as much fanfare because they aren't plugged in. They aren't PR giants. They don't have the, the, the foothold in the West with the with the PI, uh, PI, PR bloody um, uh, machine or industry, whatever you like to call it. But it's cool. It's cool seeing these, these games kind of come out of nowhere that aren't necessarily playing by the rules, doing their own thing. I like this. It's got some jank. I worry about the load times. Um, it's a bit corny, uh, but a lot of that's translational as well and cultural. Um, this is a cool game. This is cool. I'm, I'm going to have to play some more. Anyway, team, let me know what you reckon. Might just leave it there for the time being, and I'll catch you guys on the next one.